the respondents think the U.S. is no longer the world's strongest economy. But Swiss American Chairman Craig Smith says these guys are just wrong. As hard as the White House is making it for business, America, he says, is still the best place to invest. But Craig, it's a tough sell for them. What do you think is going on? Well, look at the numbers, Neil. I mean, America still is the largest economy in the world. I mean, if you go by the World Bank or the IMF numbers or CIA numbers, we run one and two against the Eurozone. But then after us, you know, you have the, the typical players, China, which is way behind us. They're about 40 percent less of an economy, 50 percent less than we are. I mean, America still is the best place to do business, Neil. And here's what's amazing to me. Even despite the fact that we have a man in the White House who has seemed to appear to be very anti-business or at least angry towards business or towards wealth in this country, we're still growing at 2 percent. Can you imagine if we had a pro-growth, pro-business president, pro-less regulations, less taxes, more encouragement of the entrepreneurial spirit? Neil, we could lead the world out of this recession and we would maintain being number one. We are the number one economy by numbers. Look, capital wants to be where it's safe and where it can grow. That's America. Why doesn't this president understand that? And I hope if the president doesn't understand it, the American people understand it and change the direction in November. All right, so I'm going to keep putting you down as a maybe on Obama. But having said that, <laughs> Craig, you know, is it too late to dissuade people of this notion we ain't where we were? We're not the place to invest. There are other plenty more attractive environments. When even American manufacturers are saying that, you got to wonder. Well, well, but let me tell you, money is not patriotic, Neil. It, it, capital will move to wherever it is going to be safest and have the best potential for growth. And that is still America by far. And, 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 and you know, well, not as much well, as it was. I mean, the top well, right well, now, we just moved north of Japan, Japan. Um, and and uh, global rates are actually declining in some of the key countries. So we're no not, doubt they're, they're getting it. We're not. Absolutely. And that's I'm glad you said that, Neil, because here, while we're becoming corrosive towards capital accumulation, these other nations are becoming very cordial to it. You know, and that's what I'm concerned about. You know, that that survey that we looked at, 89 percent of Americans want the government to have a plan for manufacturing in America. I don't want it to be a government plan. The government can mess up a one-piece puzzle, Neil. When they came after the steel industry in 2002 to help them with tariffs, what happened? It destroyed the steel industry. They repealed the tariffs, and next thing you know, we had a 40 percent resurgence in steel. We have to be careful that regulations and trade laws don't backfire on us, and this government tends to do that. That's why this president has to look at what is working around the world. Free market capitalism. He's not, uh, he's not. If anything, he's doubled well, down. And, well, and that's what's scary. Look, look at the whole outsourcing issue, Neil. Look at how he perverted that. Let's take a big manufacturer up north, and he's building diesel engines, and he's got 5,000 employees, but he outsources 50 call center people to India to do customer service no, in order to keep you. his 5,000 jobs. No, Why wouldn't you, we do that, it's Neil? It's a ridiculous argument. Not yours, it is. But Craig Smith, always good, buddy. Thanks for adding some common sense here. Good to see you, Neil. This was America's CEO. <laughs> Meanwhile, we interrupt this heat wave for this.